Hello. <laughs> Hello, it's Jay Renee and Raymond. Yeah. We're back with some more albinism awareness to share with you guys. Um, International Albinism Awareness Day mm -hmm. is June 13th. And we're going to be covering a few different topics related to albinism, stereotypes and misconceptions, and just sharing things that we think you know need to be cleared up because we're still hearing these things a lot. It's 2017, people are uneducated about albinism, and their misconceptions and their misunderstandings about albinism affect us. It's 2017, they need to get with the times and understand. You know, a lot of people want to say everything's being accepted nowadays. You know, we need to get over our differences and unite. <laughs> we need to unite. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. so we want to talk about like um, I guess people with albinism uh, who are from communities, people of color, um, such as Black people, in our communities and. The misunderstandings that we experience in the black community because there's times like for example I'm online and that's when people get act the toughest when you're online so I'm just online scrolling doing you know having to join myself somebody randomly comes to my inbox and be like you ain't black F this F that you ain't black and I'm like listen my profile says I'm black I'm black I'm not gonna entertain them neither, you know. I'm not gonna argue back with them because they're just maybe just trying to get under your skin. Maybe they're having a bad day or they feel some type of way. But at the end of the day, it's none of my concern. I don't get, I don't get like fed up over it or anything. You know, they're not physically harming me or anything. I know I'm confident in myself and where I stand. So it doesn't mean much. But at the same time, people need don't need to be ignorant neither. You know. Yeah. So, I mean, that's something I also experienced um, when I was younger. The other kids at school would say, you're not black. You can't, you know, you can't sit with us. You're not, you can't hang with us because you're not black. You know, they would tell me that I needed a tan and, you know, or, you know, why, why do you want to be black and things like that. When I am black, we are black. Our skin, our lack of pigmentation does not take away from our blackness and we don't have brown skin but you know we're still black people we still have an experience as black people no matter how other people see it and no matter who doesn't include us in black conversations we are still black people in a, another skin tone you know you have right. uh, there's all this light skin dark skin but mm -hmm. a lot of times they leave out people people of color who have hyperpigmentation conditions and what we go through and especially within our own communities and the misunderstandings that come from other people of color, other black people who are treating us the same way that they are being experienced from people outside of our communities. So, you know, we hear a lot about race conversations with, um, you know, black people, and white people, but we rarely talk about within our own the black community, the colorism from, you know, black folks with light skin, dark skin, brown skin, whatever, and how they interact with each other, how they treat each other. And it's not all black people because I've been coming across people where they'll be like, they'll be looking at me and they could tell because my facial features and I'm very tall, so, you know, people think, you know, that he might be black because he's super tall. Mm -hmm. Or my hair, and then especially when I start speaking, they can, like, give the, with the facts, but until then, there's other people that just might think, oh, he's white or... It's like these random thoughts. And at some time, people do know, but then they still get kind of ignorant with it. Because I'm on a train, and this guy goes, Albino! <laughs> I'm like, Yeah, people you know. just like shout out things <laughs> when walking down the street. Can I just enjoy my day? Can I just be shopping at the mall without having a group of teenagers follow me, chanting, you know, white girl, Michael Jackson, all this, <laughs> things like that. Yeah, you know? yeah, I've had that happen before. Um, you know, and, and it, I, to be honest, this only happens from other black folks. I've never experienced this with any other race group. It's just black people that do this. And it's like, come on now, you know, the things that black people go through, we shouldn't be experiencing that same thing within our own communities. You know, let's understand each other. And you're expecting the world and everyone else to understand us, you know.